This is Becoming the Berg, stories that shaped the Sunshine City, a project from I Love the Berg and the St. Petersburg Downtown Partnership. Walking around St. Pete's Edge District, it's hard to imagine that just 133 years ago, this was little more than a dusty hamlet of a few ramshackle buildings dubbed Wardville after the local postmaster. That is, until a Russian aristocrat exiled from his homeland named Pyotr Demenchev, or Peter Demens, as his American friends like to call him, brought his Orange Belt Railroad here to land owned by John C. Williams, son of the first mayor of Detroit and a wealthy real estate developer in his own right. On June 8, 1888, the Orange Belt's locomotive, Maddie, chugged into town for the first time. It probably stopped somewhere around here in the vicinity of 9th Street or MLK Street and 1st Avenue South in the shadow of today's Tropicana Field. It carried one lone passenger, a shoe salesman from Savannah, who upon arrival looked at the conductor and said, but where's the town? I don't see anything but a couple of shacks and a lot of woods. He turned right around and went back to Savannah the next day, probably without a single sale. On the south side of the tracks, the African-American laborers who had built the railroad now built their homes in a series of tight-knit neighborhoods that eventually became known as the gas plant area while lots on the north side of the track began selling briskly to former pioneers and transplanted entrepreneurs. By 1890, the local population had grown from 50 to 273 people, living mostly in the vicinity of Central Avenue and MLK Street. The makeshift depot that was erected around First Avenue South and 9th Street probably lasted about six months until Demons built a passenger depot down at 2nd Street with a grand hotel right across the way. Both were built in a distinctly Russian style in honor of Demons' homeland, which is also where the city got its new name of St. Petersburg after Demons' hometown. Williams had to settle for having the new hotel named in honor of his hometown of Detroit. The Detroit Hotel still stands today as condos on Central Avenue and 2nd Street. For several years, competition was fierce between the area dubbed downtown and the area where the first train actually rolled into town, now called Uptown. The city's first post office, general store, schoolhouse, lumber mill, and even the first Lover's Lane were all here in today's Edge District. But eventually, access to the new railroad pier, the water, and the passenger depot and hotel caused downtown to win out, and it became the city's central business district. One could hardly tell that today, however, as the area where the first Orange Belt locomotive arrived in town now bustled with shops and restaurants catering to residents living in new apartments and condos. In a nod to the area's founding history, one of those new developments, featuring a mix of apartments, condos, office space, retail space, and parking, is calling itself Orange Station. Will its opening in 2023 spark a new competition with downtown about which of these areas is the most happening in St. Pete? Only time will tell. I'm Monica Kyle with I Love the Birds.